Figured I'd film a quick part three. I completed this mask. Is it perfect? No. But it's, it's pretty darn good for me. It actually inspired me to want to work with real leather. And then um, what I used uh, in addition to cutting out the pattern with the Cricut, I, I bought this hole punch. Um, I guess I didn't technically need it, but I might in the future when I'm using real leather. I also got this kit to sew with. It includes a lot of nifty things. Got that on Amazon. And um, I made my, um, with some of the extra faux leather, I made some of my friends these keychains. I mean, I didn't have any hardware to put in there, but you know, they can do whatever they want with them. But I thought they were cute. All right, so yep, there's their mask. I ended up finishing it up with some elastic from when I was making a bunch of masks in like April 2020. Yep, hope my friend likes it. I mean, I think if I were selling it, the person might be mad. <laughs> but since it's free, it's okay. This is, this is why I don't have a store. Because I, I can't make things perfectly, and customers expect perfect. But, um, uh, what is it? Diesel Punk Row. Uh, his tutorials were really good. Um, obviously, that's what I used for this, in addition to the PDF directions that came with the pattern file I purchased on Etsy. But um, I feel inspired to try to make other things, and once I get a handle on that, maybe even coming up with like my own creative endeavors, you know, not for a store, but you know, for my own and family and friends enjoyment, I suppose, enjoyment or uh, frustration. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> All right. So that's it. Part three. Thank you.